How's it going, guys? So it was just announced that the Padres have acquired pitcher Joe Musgrove in a trade with the Pirates. And in this video, I'm going to break this trade down and what it means for both teams. And as always, if you guys can, please like and subscribe. Anyway, let's get into the video. So the centerpiece of this deal is Joe Musgrove. He was originally drafted in the first round in 2011 by the Toronto Blue Jays. Almost a year later, he was traded to the Houston Astros. Musgrove pitched in 49 games for the Astros, having a 4.52 earned an average. While he did struggle, Musgrove was still viewed as a potential rotation stalwart for the Astros. But in 2018, everything changed as he was traded to the Pittsburgh Pirates along with Jason Martin, Michael Feliz, and Colin Moran for Garrett Cole. Over the next three seasons with the Pirates, Musgrove proved that he was the best player they received in the deal, as he had a 4.23 ERA and a 369 fit. The 2020 season was his best season to date, as he had a 386 ERA with 55 strikeouts and 116 ERA+, plus, albeit in a small 39 innings. Since the offseason began, Musgrove has been almost a lock to be traded by the rebuilding Pirates. While it was reported that the Pirates had discussed Musgrove in trades, it was thought that the Padres had given up on him after they acquired Hugh Darvish and Blake Snell. While Musgrove is not Darvish or Snell, he's still a very solid rotation piece for the Padres. Presumably, Musgrove will slot in the rotation behind Snell, Darvish, and Danielson Lamette. And in 2022, their season for the Padres will be even better as they will have a force of Snell, Darvish, Lamette, Musgrove, and Mike Clevenger. And for the rebuilding Pirates, this isn't a half bad trade for them either. Now for you Pirates fans, you have to curb your optimism as the Pirates were never going to receive a top 100 prospect like the Cubs and Rays did. Musgrove never had that ceiling, but if the deal goes through, this is a really good for the Pirates. Now in my opinion, the best player going to the Pirates is outfield prospect Hudson Head. He was drafted in the third round in 2019 and is not expected to make his debut till 2023. While this may seem like a long time, this lines up when the rest of the Pirates' premier prospects should make their debuts. While he does not have a lengthy track record, he was one of the most advanced prospects in the Friars system. Many scouts and analysts view him as a potential five-tool player, as does MLB Pipeline, and they grade his run and his arm as his best tools, while well, all of his tools are above average as of now. As he's only 19 years old, we don't really know how this trade will work out for the Pirates, as he will take years to debut. Even through their depleted system, he was rated as the Padres' seventh best prospect. Another prospect that is reported to be going to the Pirates is lefty Omar Cruz. Cruz is 21 years old and was signed by the Padres in 2017. He was ranked as the 17th best prospect in the Friars system. MLB Pipeline views his curveball and his control as his best tools. Because of no minor league season, Cruz is 21 and is not expected to make his debut until 2023. Cruz will turn 22 in almost a week, but if the Pirates can develop him, he could be a solid long relief man or a lockdown reliever, which seems to be the direction where he is heading. Going to the Pirates, along with Cruz and Head, is reliever David Bednar heading to the Pirates. Bednar was ranked as the 20th best prospect in the Padres system. He has a great story as he was a 35th round draft pick in 2015 and played in the majors the past two seasons. Bednar is 26 and has 17 big league innings to his name, so he's projected to go to the Pirates bullpen in 2021. While he has a limited ceiling, Bednar has a great fastball that blows hitters away, making him a solid bullpen piece for years to come for the Pirates. While Cruz and Head are more of developmental prospects for the Pirates, Bednar should slot right in the big league bullpen for them. And the last player going from the Padres to the Pirates is pitcher Drake Fellows. While Fellows is not ranked in the Padres top 30, he was a six-round pick out of Vanderbilt University by the Padres. He is 22 years old and does not have any minor league experience, but he should rise fast through the Padres system. The Padres also traded left-hander Joey Lucchese to the New York Mets in this trade. He was a fourth-round pick by the Friars in 2016, and he had been a highly regarded prospect in their system before exceeding his prospect status. 
Lucchese put up really solid seasons in 2018 and 2019, having a 4.08 ERA and a 4.18 ERA, respectively. While his numbers looked bad in 2020, they were in only five innings. Lucchese did not play much in 2020 as he was blocked by others and with Snell, Musgrove, and Darvish incoming for the Padres, they had no use for him. In this trade, the Mets get a very solid left-hander who upgrades their pitching core and should slot in as a long reliever. In exchange for Lucchese, the Pirates will get catcher-slash-outfielder Andy Rodriguez, who was the Mets' 14th ranked prospect. Rodriguez was signed in 2018, and he is 20 years old, being projected to make the majors in 2023. MLB Pipeline values his hitting and fielding as his best tools. And honestly, I really like the inclusion of Rodriguez to the Pirates, as I think he could be a really good MLB player. While I thought the Padres were done making moves this offseason, I was obviously wrong. This is a really nice move for the Padres as they boost their rotation even further. The only issue I have with this trade is that almost everyone in their rotation now has injuries or injury concerns in the past. While it hurts to lose the prospects in this trade, every single one of them was blocked at the Major League Revel. For the Pirates, they continued their rebuild efforts by trading Musgrove. Musgrove was easily their best trade chip this offseason, and there is not much to trade besides Adam Frazier and Richard Rodriguez. While it will take time to tell who won this trade, I really like the return that the Pirates got. Every single one of the prospects should help them in their rebuild efforts. While Hudson Head is the centerpiece of this trade, don't sleep on Andy Rodriguez or David Bednar either. And for the Mets, I also think they did very well in this trade. While they did not get a big return, Lucchese has a very high ceiling, and if they can help him with a few problems, he could be very good. And while losing Rodriguez hurts, they are in a win-now mode, and Rodriguez won't be in the league for years. If you guys have enjoyed this video, then please like and subscribe because it really helps me out, and tell me what you think of the trade in the comments section below.